Uh, what's up? Welcome back, everyone. This is part two of Twitter side or whatever I'm going to be calling these videos on Twitter. But before I pick up where I left off on the last video, um, I just want to say I think this is my probably my favorite map of the new four maps. Maybe of all the maps overall. I really like the way this map's put together. I like the underwater elements. There's even dive animations thrown in when you jump from a high distance or a, a high height, a big height, whatever. I'm getting my words all mixed up. But when you jump from high up, there you go. Like, one, I've seen at least two different dive animations. I'm pretty sure there's more. I've seen... There's a way to get a ship to, like, go around the outside of the map and shoot the inside with grenades. Because someone was doing that, and they were actually getting kills from it. I don't, I don't know how to activate that. I don't know if that's random or what. But I saw someone's name popping up when that happened. And they were getting a bunch of kills off my team. It was in a different match. You've also got, um, I don't know if you can see it right now. There's a crate that's on a crane that you can move. I don't know, again, I don't know if that's random or I haven't found a spot that activates that. But there's a lot of little things in this map I don't think I've found yet. And I, I definitely enjoy it. It's one of my favorite maps. Like when I first saw it, I was like, wow, man, they put a lot of work into it. So again, I really enjoy these maps. I just wish they'd bring back some of the old modes that we missed, like Elimination for one. But going back to what I was talking about in the last video, Twitter's not all that bad. Twitter's actually really good for information. There are also a lot of fucking funny ass people on Twitter who post shit at random. And they're not comedians, they're just regular everyday people who are clever as hell and, and come up with some hilarious shit. But when you start dealing <laughs> with, with high schoolers or people who have that high school mentality I should say grade school man because once you're in high school you should start to at least shy away from that type of behavior but when you have people who who get that upset over differing opinions oh it was another time man oh my god some dude I, I'm not gonna put these I don't wanna I don't wanna put my friend's name out there but this particular friend on Twitter uh, she played, she played against these other people in, mo in Modern Warfare, and then she came on Twitter and she's like, we beat them the first game, in the second game they, they banned our gun, basically. So I responded to that, and I'm like, you know, I, I, I typed like LOL or some shit, because it's, I think it's kind of funny that you're playing a first person shooter and like, the other team that you, you whoop their ass, they're like, oh you can't use that gun anymore. And then one of the people, they saw it, and they started cursing me out like I had been playing with them. Like, first of all, I don't have Modern Warfare 3. I don't play that shit. I don't have, like, I'm going to post a clip of Black Ops because I found it, but I don't have that game anymore. So, <laughs> this guy was getting mad for the wrong fucking reasons, and it just snowballed from there. He, he got butthurt over that shit. Over someone, I, and I wasn't even, like, like I said, you watch videos that I normally make. Think of that person, the person who makes those videos. That's pretty much who I was in that comment. I didn't curse him out, you know, until he cursed me out the second time. And then I told him, like, yo, asshat, you're on Twitter. You know, what you're saying isn't exactly private information. <laughs> and he's like, oh, he said, oh, he, he came back with, like, some, he actually had to use Twit longer. He was so pissed off. And I could put him on blast, I could I could put the link to what he said, or I could put up a screen cap, because I screen capped it, because it was funny as fuck to me, that someone got that mad over a video game, over getting their ass beat, basically. Over losing in a video game. No money on the line, keep in mind, it was a friendly match, but they got exposed for being that upset, telling the other team to look like use a different weapon. They got that upset over it. Then he cursed me out and blocked me. When I wasn't even following him. Oh, on two accounts. He blocked me on two accounts. When I wasn't even following him. And I, I had no intention of following him. I basically responded to something my friend said on Twitter. And he ended up crying over it. I really tend to stay away from people like that. And, uh, this next thing I'm going to tell you guys. I know it's probably going to disappoint some of you people that I'm talking about it. It disappoints me to bring it up but like I said I'm just gonna go ahead and do it 
uh, I was talking with this female friend on Twitter. Uh, at this point, I don't even know if we're still friends. I don't really think we are, because I I have to say I lost a couple. I lost some respect for her as a person. Uh, but yeah, we were talking. Uh, basically on Twitter, just just goofing off as friends and shit. And somehow we exchanged the numbers, and it got to the point where I kind of I kind of thought, okay, maybe I can go meet this chick, see if we like each other, see where it goes from there. And she kind of beat me to the punch. Like late one night, she asked what I was doing, and it, for those of you those those of you who are kids, that's a that's a fucking that's what a, a stockbroker would call like a like a sales question <laughs> basically it's like you got to take that shit down but the thing was i had plans that i couldn't get out of and it's not exactly like we're next door to each other you know i like i would have to travel hours out of my way and to be able to do that at the last minute really wasn't uh, the best idea and i just want to make it clear like by late night, I don't mean like fucking booty call hours. Well, it was late, but it was it wasn't booty call hours. It wasn't like for us to meet up to do anything like that. Um, from what I can tell, she's not that type of person. She's never really presented herself to be that type of person. So, in the event that she hears this fucking video, I don't want you coming at me saying that I said you were a slut or any anything else. I don't want to hear that shit. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying, yo, don't, don't, don't twist my words around. Some people do that. Don't do it. All right. So after that happened, I kind of felt like, you know, something was off, basically. Like she wouldn't, she really wasn't saying as much as she used to. Like if I messaged her or texted her like about stupid shit, like just joking around or whatever, I get a response. But when I asked her shit like, like how her day was the day before, no response. Like, I mean, I asked her, like, one morning she told me, well, I don't want to put all her business out there, but basically, she was going to have, like, a bad day at work. The next day, I asked her how that day went. No response. This was, like, early in the morning. Usually, like, after two or three minutes, if someone doesn't respond to a text, I'm like, yeah, they're busy. They'll, they'll get back to me later. Uh, with, <laughs> with her, with this one, like, I actually forgot that I texted her texted her like the next day someone else texted me like in the middle of the day and i'm like oh yeah yo, it's this you know she didn't she still didn't respond to me what happened? i wonder what happened meanwhile you look on twitter and like she's been talking all day so that had me wondering i'm like oh, why wouldn't you why would you just like not respond to me that's some weird shit you know it's like wh whenever i asked anything that was like remotely serious whenever i wasn't completely joking around like goofing off and making her laugh I mean, she would get weird like just not say anything or it was just weird like what the fuck yo that's like shit you do in high school that's what i'm saying i lost respect for her it's like once once it got to that point i guess where she kind of knew i was interested she either wasn't interested and didn't want to say anything maybe she met someone else and you know shit like that happens man like i'm in my 30s i know <laughs> i know how the world works man it's like but like I'm saying, I'm in my 30s. Like, I, I'm past the point where I want to deal with high school shit. Like, if you're not interested or, you know, you met someone else or whatever, you know, just, just fucking say something. Like, we can still be friends after that. And, you know, I'm, I'm not even saying that. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to continue this in another video.